each of you will have a chance to tell the audience the good news that God loves them. It wasn't appreciated when it came out. You look at it today and say, how could anybody not appreciate this movie? But that's the case. Our first stop will be Albuquerque. Who's a turkey? <laughs> not who's a turkey, Albuquerque. It is just one of the great movies ever made, and I think many people are going to agree it's just one of the great American experiences in the, in, in the, in the cinema. Christian kids are, well, nerds. It's so emotionally rich. There are so many layers in that film. You're doing a great job in our musical performances, Shelley. But that's not what you wanted to talk to me about, is it? I just watched his, his body language. It was Nietzsche. It was Buddha. It was Christ. And live the awesome life God has in store for you. One of the best films ever made. And uh, it's coming out and it shows this under underbelly of the American psyche, in a way, at that time. Wow, two things vanishing in one morning. It certainly influenced my feelings about mice. Oh, my! Yeah. The vulnerability, the faith and belief in something and someone. God has a plan for my life. I still can't see it without sobbing. Salty, welcome to St. Louis. But it was scary as hell. Uh, this is a man with demons. He's absolutely terrifying. He hates so much that he hates beyond the grave. You know, he wants to kill the soul of, of these people. Why? He ain't human, really. And he's a poet, they say. He's a poet, too. He's a poet of hatred. We all were sobbing in the movie theater, and I will never, ever forget that movie. The script is, you know, one of the best scripts ever. What are you doing on this train? We're not doing this for money. You've just been born again. It's still one of my favorite films, and I'm man enough to admit it.